All right, hurry, hurry, hurry. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, shit, Mom. Oh! Okay, so we've spent the last hour or so kind of setting up the shot. Everything is looking pretty good so far. We have run into one pretty big problem. Our original idea for this was having Allie walk over to the couch, grab the remote, and right before she turns the TV on, it would transition behind her head into the next shot, which would be an outdoor scene in a very beautiful location. Unfortunately, we didn't realize when the TV is turned off and it's just completely black, and you can see so many different reflections and it makes it really hard to film. So we've been game planning a few other ideas. Option two is going to be making the TV a green screen. What we'll do for that is just have the TV hooked up to a computer that just has a pure green screen. And then in editing, theoretically, we could just turn that green screen into black. Hopefully that would work. Let me show you guys the set. Okay, so here is what we're working with. We completely cleared out Jimbo's whole entire apartment. This is all of his stuff, um, his couch, literally everything we just piled up. We're gonna have to take every single piece of furniture that we show in the video to the next location. So, <laughs> the less stuff we show in the video, the better. I think what we're gonna do now is just go ahead and get some test footage. We changed the first screen to be a green screen so we can mask it out later. And then it turns on to reveal our nice little transition. Go, bro. Thanks, let's brother. Go. So let's go ahead and start. Ali's got socks in her hair, Kyle by the way. didn't tell me that we were gonna be filming this part of the video where we're just testing things out. So these are socks in my hair, yes. Don't mind that. <laughs> Three, two, one. Pick up the remote. Two, one, go. Okay, so I just dragged the clips into Adobe Premiere Pro. We'll throw some stuff on real quick and see how it looks. And whoa, that actually, <laughs> that actually worked really good with one click. What I did was just drag an ultra key on and just key the green. This is what it looked like whenever we didn't do a green screen. It was just the TV off. You can see how many reflections and just how terrible that looks versus this new shot right here. That looks really good. I'm actually really shocked with how good that turned out. So now that we know that that works, let's go ahead and run with it. So we're all set up. We got some lights set up. You ready to go? Yes, the socks are out of my hair. The ready socks are, look at, look at those results. Ooh, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> we have the TV all set up. Jimmy is gonna click play on the TV to have it switch um, to the boot up screen, which is gonna be the beach. Whenever I click the button on the remote, we'll pretend to click the button on the remote. Jimmy will be in sync with me. Okay. Oh. Whoa, that was good. All right, I think we're gonna shoot this at 4K 60. Three, two, one. Whoa. <laughs> like, that was literally like perfect. Like you went like boom. Okay, first take went well. Let's go ahead and get quite a few more. We just got done wrapping up like probably 20 or 30 shots, but we got a plethora of options to choose from. I got some regular 4K at 30, some 4K at 60 frames a second. And the whole reasoning behind that is to just have a ton of options while editing. We gotta get packing up because the beach is still like an hour and a half drive away. So let's go. I guess it's a perk of living in a van. You can just use it to carry all your living room furniture to the beach. You know? We're at the beach right now. We got about an hour before sunset, so we have a little bit of time to kill, but it'll be good to just kind of enjoy the beach, I guess. Hi. The van is really, really heavy, probably too heavy to be out here on the beach. So we kind of have to park right in the middle section. You're supposed to park up there along the grassy area, but we tried to park there and the van just immediately started sinking. The first time we came here, we got like so stuck. We had to have yeah. like 10 people come help us push our whole van out. So we tried to stay away from there. Not the best day of recording, that's for sure. Very, very cold and windy, but I think it'll look pretty good. I just wanted to take a second to say how incredible van life is. Everything has its ups and downs from time to time, but instead of being stuck in a small car with the sun blaring in on you through the windows, we can just open up these windows right on the beach, cook some food and just relax for a little bit. Straight from my bedroom window. <laughs> So the beach patrol goes up and down 
like 15, 20 minutes before sunset and just tell everyone to pack up. But we really honestly have this like five, 10 minute gap where we can get our filming done. Then we'll just have to hectically put everything away really quick. All right, so the patrol just drove past saying everyone needs to get off the beach now. So we're hurrying up. We're just gonna go for it. We're gonna wait for the sun to get down farther, but apparently we don't have that option. So yeah, this is gonna get a little hectic. Let's go. So we're gonna use the Jackery power up TV and the laptop. I hope the TV doesn't blow over. All right, cannot forget the pillow. The continuity is everything. Hopefully this is not all for nothing. All right, hurry, hurry, hurry. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, two, one. Okay, these are looking good. Let's just keep let's just keep going over and over again. Maybe try one hiding behind the TV so we don't see this cord. Okay guys, so the patrol is coming right now. Let's try to get like two or more shots. Two, one. All right, so shockingly, he was very, very, very nice. He's letting us do one more take, so we'll probably do like two or three more takes. Three, two, one. Okay, so we literally just about left without doing one of the most important scenes, filming the behind the scenes for the TikTok, which is like the opening scene. So what we did is Jimbo just put this thing up on a loop. So it's just gonna keep playing over and over and over again. So let's hurry up and do it. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so I'm 90% sure that we got the shots we need behind the scenes results. I think that's a wrap. It went from being like freezing outside to just like sweating. Now I guess we'll just go home and look over the footage and hopefully cross my fingers that it turned out good. So we're gonna try to get out of the sand. We're going really fast. Hopefully we can make it through without getting stuck. That was nothing. Anyway, that's a mission successful. Let's get on to it. Okay, so it's been about a day. I've had the chance to get the video fully edited and ready to go. But before I show you guys the final results, I just wanna give a quick shout out to Vizio for sponsoring this video. This whole entire campaign and shoot was for Vizio's first annual Quantum Color Month. I've worked with Vizio in the past and they've just been such an amazing company to work with. Their TVs are just out of this world. I've been using this one for the past couple weeks now to play. Fortnite. <laughs> it honestly just looks incredible. The colors pop so much. It's so just bright and vivid. And overall, the TV is just a very sleek and minimalistic design. So if you're in the need for a TV, then I would highly suggest saving yourself some time and a whole bunch of headache of looking through a bunch of other TVs. I'll list everything you guys need to know about Vizio in the description box below. Make sure you check that out before you go. But anyway, I know you guys are waiting for the final results. So here they are.